So we are at the Hiroshima Memorial. So the bomb detonated 600 meters up uh, and about 160 meters from this building and everyone inside was instant, instantly killed and the building was burned uh, all, all around. So this is very close to the epicenter of, of, of where this all happened. And the strange thing about it uh, is that I thought it was gonna be like this huge park commemorating this because it's such an important event in the human history because after all that's where the human race realized that we can't do a war that's that's the end we can't we can't fight we have to get along because we've gotten too smart for it but anyway that's the memorial and that's like buildings and offices and all that so i'm a little surprised that they built around it and there's not not much of a park really just a little bit would you want to live in one of those buildings no no it's kind of weird right i feel like all of this here should be just you know just paved perhaps paved uh, ground and then nothing around just at least maybe like 200 meters around the building there should be nothing just like a barren land to kind of give that feeling of, of nothingness like like we all saw after a memorial because right now it sort of feels like just a destroyed building in in, in the middle of a of a vital city so you don't fully get that sense of destruction And uh, I'm not much of a religious person, but there is a famous quote from the Matthew that says something along the lines: "If you, if you possess the whole world but lose your own soul or lose a piece of your soul, what good would it, would it be?" And this is exactly what this memorial should stand for: in that, in all all of our striving for power and and uh, just being, you know, controlling nature and controlling life and controlling everything. Uh, we have to kind of balance that out with with that idea that uh, ultimately at the end of the day everyone just kind of wants to have a good life and we're all very much the same and uh, there's absolutely ever never a need for for something like this to happen ag again if we keep in touch with that idea that again what good would it be to own the whole world if you if you if you uh, lost your soul or damaged your soul 